Hello, my name's David McClelland, and I'm a tech journalist and a presenter. And I'm here today to help you out with some of your tech queries. So in this tip, I'm going to show you how to access your BIOS. Now, first of all, what actually is your BIOS on your computer? Well, BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. And what it is, it's a low level way of configuring your computer. And what I'm talking about here isn't your font size or anything like that. It's about the system clock. It's about how fast your processor is running and what kind of hard disk drive your computer thinks it has. Now, normally this is stuff that you wouldn't need to access every day. But sometimes, for example, if you're reinstalling your operating system, you may need to enter the BIOS to change the boot order to make sure that your computer boots from a CD rather than from the hard disk drive. Other people who may use this are people called overclockers who want to try and get their computer to run a little bit faster than it normally would. But make sure you heed my warning later on. So let's take a look at how to do it. So the time to access your BIOS is just as the computer is starting up from being powered off. Now it's different on every computer. On the Dell computer here, you do it by pressing F2. Now on other operate on other computers, there are different ways of getting into the BIOS. Um, it's best to have a Google search to uh, find out what they are, but quite frequently it's F2. So you can see on the screen here some of the information that the BIOS gives you. So for example, I can see here the kind of processor that this computer is running, exactly what memory is installed on the computer, and also what we were talking about earlier on, which is the boot sequence. So for example, here it's going to boot from the hard disk drive first of all. If we were installing a new operating system, we'd want to make it boot from a CD drive first of all. Other things that you can have a look at are which hard disk drives are installed, any other onboard devices and so on. But I think you get the idea, it's really low level configuration stuff that we're looking at here. Now, one word of warning, some BIOSes let you tamper with and fiddle with all kinds of settings and it's really dangerous to do that if you don't know what you're doing. I always make a note of what settings I'm changing and what they were before I change them in case the computer doesn't quite uh, respond properly after I've booted it back up again. In a worst case, you can actually fry the inside of your computer if you start tampering with the processor settings. But with all of those warnings in mind, do have a look around. It's a great way of learning more about how your computer works. And that's how to enter the BIOS on your computer.